Zoella called her video friends and food when she should have called it Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a joint video for both Zoella and Tanya Burr, who have over 14 million subscribers between their two channels. So they're reaching a huge audience with their message. That's more than half the population of Australia. They're good friends, and recently they went to the Foodies Festival together. Many years ago, before we were vegan, we used to love attending festivals like this. And now we just go to the vegan ones. Exactly, but back then we were eating meat, dairy, and eggs. And it's important to remember that all animal products are ultimately a result of a lot of violence, a lot of suffering and murder. But in their vlogs, they're showing how much they love animals. They each have a dog that they love and adore and Zoella also has a guinea pig. So as children, we're taught two conflicting belief systems. On one hand, we're taught to love certain animals and on the other hand, we're taught that it's normal, natural and necessary to eat other animals. Mm, we value compassion and non-violence but we put the products of violence in our bodies three times a day. And when these two conflicting belief systems are brought to people's attention, it creates an uncomfortable tension in the mind called cognitive dissonance. So we need to help these two ladies understand this concept because they're perpetuating this disconnect to their audience between the animals we love and the animals we eat. And because they have such a huge reach, they have the potential to change a lot of minds and therefore to save a lot of lives. So at the Foodies Festival, Zoella had a pizza covered in cheese and Tanya had a sausage. So let's hear what she had to say. Maybe British sausages. Ooh. And ketchup. I wish that my camera had smell of vision because oh my goodness, it just smells like summer because of the smell of the, the barbecue. We can totally understand this. We used to love the smell of a barbecue. There's nothing more Australian than a barbecue in summer. And we used to love eating sausages too. And we remember doing our grocery shopping on a Saturday morning at the markets. We'd always get a big bratwurst sausage with all the fixings. But back then, like Tanya, we were disconnected from who we were eating. Because a sausage is not just a thing. It was a living, feeling, breathing being. An animal. A pig. I've made my decision. I'm going for the sausage. So I'm having sausage, onion. There you go. Thank Thank you. Anything else for you? Yeah. Um, yeah. Interestingly, sometime after the Foodies Festival, Tang shared on her Snapchat that she visited some kind of animal farm and she was admiring the animals there. Let's see what she said. Little piglets. They're so sweet. A big one. So she says they're so sweet, which is indicative of our innate compassion, not a characteristic of a true omnivore or carnivore. I mean, a lion doesn't look at a deer and go, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> it really doesn't, no. no. <laughs> so Tanya simply hasn't made the connection between these sweet pigs and the sausage on her plate, because the middle part of how they get to her plate is so well hidden from us. Tanya bought her sausage from the Great British Sausage Company, who proudly claim that they've been converting vegetarians since 2005. What this means is this company has been killing animals since 2005. They've been destroying the environment since 2005. And they've been giving people disease since 2005. Yeah, clearly they missed the World Health Organization's report late last year, which categorised processed meats like sausages as class one carcinogens, that is known to cause cancer. And they're in the same group as tobacco and asbestos. So this company's tagline is, I love sausage. They're really obsessed with this. And of course, they're going to ram it down our throats because that's how they make money. This is their business. In fact, they even have merchandise that you can proudly wear saying, I love sausage. So they're showing their pigs and they are then showing the end product. But what they do not show is the middle step of how these animals end up as packaged goods for people to eat. So common practices on most pig farms include tail docking, teeth clipping, ear clipping, testicles ripped out without anesthesia, and general mistreatment and abuse. It is a cruel and violent industry. Now this company claims that they only use free range happy pigs. Now regardless of if these claims are true or not, at the end of the day, all these animals' lives end the same way. They are all brutally murdered. Mm.
The following footage depicts what is touted as the most humane method of slaughtering pigs. This is the gold standard. This is how your free range and humanely slaughtered pigs are killed. The images you will see here are not isolated incidents. If anything, this is the best case scenario of animal slaughter. This, for an animal in our food system, is the nicest way to die. In their last minutes, these pigs are burning from the inside out. I'm going for the sausage. This is what the industry does not show us, and that is how these sweet animals end up on our plates. Now, ironically, Tanya has a sausage dog, Martha, who she simply loves and adores and has a beautiful connection with, and clearly she would never eat Martha. And yet, pigs are even more intelligent than dogs. They have the intelligence of a three-year-old human child, and so we have the ability to form bonds and connections with pigs just as we do with dogs if we were given the chance to. So both Zoella and Tanya adore animals and Tanya's reaction to Zoella's guinea pig Percy is just beautiful. Guys I'm holding Percy and he's so cute. <laughs> Can you do a close up on him? Look at his little face. Look at his little hand in between my fingers. Can you see that oh. on the camera? They're just tiny little, they're like miniature little dogs. Yes, they are like little dogs and they're like little piglets and they're like little chickens and cats and cows and all animals are the same. They're all beautiful. And there's no difference between any of them except for we've been taught to love some and eat others. For example, we used to live in Ecuador and over there they eat guinea pigs. They eat Percy. And it was really hard for us to see coming from a Western culture because we're just not used to that. And then in some other countries, like in China, for example, they have a food festival where they eat dogs. And at your food festival, you ate pigs. So we pick and choose which animals we eat based on the tradition of the culture we've been raised in. So these ladies are absolutely besotted with the animals in their lives. Which is beautiful to see. Yeah. But they're not making the connection with the animals on their plates. Ironically, Zoella called her video Friends and Food, when she should have called it Friends Are Food, because that's who they're eating, they're friends. Whether it's the sausage, or the cheese all over Zoella's pizza, or the dairy and eggs in the desserts, all animal products cost our animal friends their lives. So we have to start aligning our love for animals with our actions and eat a plant-based diet instead of eating our friends. So we recommend getting the full education by watching these three documentaries. The great thing is, when you go vegan, you don't have to give up eating sausages. You simply eat sausages made from plants instead of animals. And that goes for all animal-based products. No matter what kind of meat you like, or dairy products, or even eggs, there are plant-based alternatives for everything. Now we know a lot of people are going to say, let Tanya and Zoella eat whatever they want. You do you, and let them do them. But it doesn't work that way. When the food you eat is responsible for our leading causes of death, and burdens our healthcare system, it affects all taxpayers. When the food you eat is the leading cause of environmental destruction on this planet, it affects all of us. When the food you eat is killing 2,000 animals every second worldwide, it is no longer a personal choice when it involves taking someone else's life. So with their huge audience, Tanya and Zoella have a responsibility to educate themselves, to make the connection and to not promote these animal products to their audience that is going to continue this disconnect between the animals we love and the animals we eat. Help us get this message to Zoella and Tanya by sharing this video with them. Their social media is linked below. Like and subscribe and remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. And it begins by loving all animals and not eating them. See you next video. Bye guys. Need one, not you fourteen. One. one hack for weight loss. Here it is: a vegan diet. 
that is focused on whole foods predominantly. And high carbohydrate whole plant foods. That are 